Welcome back to Divinely Guided. Hey, you guys. This is going to be a reading for my Aries. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Um, I have already saged the cards. Have y'all seen the smoke coming up? That is just my sage burning. Trying to keep anything negative away from here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start shuffling. So just give me a moment, you guys. And this is a reading for the collective of Aries. Divine Light, the highest order of protection of Archangel Michael. Divine Light, the highest order of protection of Archangel Michael. I invite my spirit guides and Aries, spirit guides and guardian angels into this healing session. Any messages dealing with love, life, career, family, or any messages just in general. Can you speak through the cards for me on today? I thank you in advance. Let's get started. <clears throat> I see. Oh, wow. A new, I see path clearing. I see someone got clarity on something. The truth emerged. It could have been a type of truth that brought hurt or pain to you, but it was the type of truth and type of clarity that you needed in order to go down this road, start this new path. I also see something that you're trying to create that you've been putting a lot of time into, something that you're passionate about, you're also trying to create that as well. Uh, you could have had, or you could be feeling left out in the cold, or you could be making someone feeling left out in the cold. You might be having challenges around money, or you could, let's see, Just feeling like you don't have enough conflict, but it's change here. There's a lot of change here. You could be sitting back thinking about what it is that you want, um, having different options. But when you have options like this, you have to choose something. You can't just leave it up there and just think about it. You have to pick something. You could have been enlightened on something surrounding love or your emotions, wanting to start over, to clear something, because I see you leaving something behind. You're starting a new journey somewhere. This could also be reconciling. You could have left somebody and left them feeling stuck out in the cold or left out in the cold. But I see you leaving something behind. And you're leaving like some past hurts. And you're moving to calmer waters. You're leaving something. You're moving away from something. And it came from this clarity that emerged the truth. Something was told to you or brought to you that made you leave something. It made you move away and go to calmer waters. You could be thinking about a soulmate, a twin flame, a marriage. Thinking about what it is that you want surrounding this having different options around it, having to pick and choose. But you're starting a new journey somewhere. You have two, you have three aces on the board already. There's a lot of newness, a lot of raw energy, 
a lot of the, the path is being cleared for you for something. Some of you are having to self-discipline right now is required. And it, it don't need to be nothing that is, is emotionally attached. You need to get out of your mind. Self-discipline right now is, is required, especially surrounding this. This is like my marriage card or, or a foundation or something. You need self-discipline because you could be having options here there's options here you're fantasizing you're dreaming about something you have an options you're not making a decision and you need self-discipline right now you could be juggling two different things two different decisions right now you could have a lot that you're trying to maintain and you might be maintaining that right now but soon it's going to fall. It's going to crumble because you're juggling. And you, you, you're you juggling. You could be getting ready to leave something behind that you are juggling with. So you could be getting ready to make a decision. And it might make someone feel left out. I see with my Ace of Cups... My lover's card popped up. So this could be reestablishing a union with someone, a love, an existing love already. Something's being created. Something that you're passionate about that you want is being created here with this, this lover card and this ace of cups. You're leaving something behind. You're, you're, you're either, you either got clarity or you giving clarity and it's bringing a heartbreak. Someone is heartbroken here. And, and it came from this truth, from this clarity, because this clarified my Ace of Swords. So someone is heartbroken because somebody or someone left. They moved away. You need Aries. It's like you need to self-discipline is required right now because you have an option surrounding this foundation. You're juggling two different decisions two different things and you're juggling it and like i said sooner or later you're going to drop it and it could be around this love this lover card you could be juggling it but i see someone or somebody this could go both ways you guys for the cross the cross watchers or for the Aries themselves, but someone is leaving something behind and starting a new journey because someone has been feeling left out in the cold. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. I'm going to clarify these cards one more time just to see because right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing somebody leaving something behind. Someone is juggling two decisions here surrounding the love but I see a new beginning a path clearing for a new love or existing love something that you're passionate about and it's gonna make someone feel left out in the cold because somebody somebody here has options and somebody is gonna leave, leave this past hurt behind because clarity came through the truth emerge and like i said with the with the ace of swords it's normally a, a truth that kind of hurts but it's the kind of hurt and truth you need to lead and it it it, it, it can cause a heartbreak a heart is broken here someone is leaving 
someone has been feeling left out in the cold and they're they're leaving to start a new journey because someone here has two decisions they're juggling two different things can't make this up Yeah, someone has two different paths that they can go down, two different journeys that they can go. This can be dealing with a business or a partnership, a relationship, but someone is sitting back trying to see which way to go. And it's causing you to have that self-discipline. Someone is being very defensive too. They got their guard up. They're being very standoffish. Like, no, leave me alone, don't come over here. And it could be surrounding whoever's feeling left out in the cold, could have that, that defense, they're, they're standing their ground now. And someone has taken a break around this love. You're reevaluating it, you're constipating around it. You're taking time to yourself to recover from something. But there is also a new beginning here within a, with an existing love or a new love. There's a new beginning here. There's something that you're trying to create. That brings it is something that you desire. But someone is leaving something behind. They're moving to calmer waters because clarity, the truth emerged. Someone was heartbroken. Because someone here was not self-disciplined. They were juggling two different things, two different options, two different decisions. And it made someone put their guard up and start being defensive, standing their ground. But someone here is leaving and starting a new journey because of the feeling of being left out in the cold. I can't make this up, y'all. When I say spirit speak through these cards, spirit speaks. Yeah. Someone is going to try to come in and give some type of messages. But it's like, it's from a, it could be from a younger person or someone that's not very experienced. They're going to try to come in and give some messages around this heartbreak try to give a little bit of clarity around it but I don't know Aries it seems like you have a situation here this could be a love triangle it could be surrounding a marriage it could be it's a lot of love cards here heartbreak a new start in existing or a new love someone needs self-discipline because someone has options and they're juggling those options they're sitting back trying to see which way they should go what path, what journey, which way they need to lead and go into the light. This was a reading for my Aries. If it resonated, like and subscribe for me. If it didn't. But I want to thank y'all for coming to Divinely Guided. Hopefully I'll see y'all next week. Thank you.